Santa. Squeeze me, please, lady. Yes, what is it? I'm coming here for to be learning the English. You're Alice. Oh, no, I'm Ali. I beg your pardon. My name is Ali, Ali Nadim. I'm coming here for to be learning the English. Ah, yes, yes. You wish to join our new class, English as a foreign language. Yes, please. And I'm hopping to be unrolled. <laughs> hopping to be unrolled? Like it say in your silly bus. <laughs> you mean hoping to be enrolled. That is what I said. Hopping to be unrolled. <laughs> yes, well, I'm afraid you cannot be unrolled. Uh, enrolled until the English teacher arrives. Now, she should be here in a few minutes. In the meanwhile, perhaps you would care to wait in the classroom. Go down the corridor, turn left at the bottom, and wait in room five. Understand? No. <laughs> well, let's start again. We go down the corridor. Down corridor. <laughs> Good. Turn left. Turn left. Right. right. <laughs> you are confusing me. Left or right? It's le left. Look, you just go down the corridor, turn left, and wait in room five. Room five. Ah, now I'm understanding you. Room five. Yes. Jolly good, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, dearie me, I'm not going where I'm looking. No, no, I wasn't looking where I was going. That makes the two of us. Excuse me, sorry. Enter. Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Oh, sorry. I'm your new teacher, Jeremy Brown, B.A. Oxon. You're a man. Yes. Well, this is most unsatisfactory. This won't do at all. Well, I'm sure you, my credentials are impeccable. Academically, perhaps. I'm talking about sex. Oh, I also assure you my morals are perfectly respectable, too. I'm referring to the fact that you are a man. I distinctly requested the local authority to send me a woman teacher, especially in view of what happened with Mr. Warburton. Mr. Warburton? Yes. He was teaching English to foreign students last term. I'm afraid he only lasted a month. Then he departed. Dead? Demented. <laughs> yes, the strain was too much for him. Typical of the male sex, no stamina. Always seemed to be able to cope at first, and then one day he just snapped. It was really quite disgusting. Really? What did he do? Climbed out of the classroom window onto the roof, took off all his clothes, and stood there stark naked, singing, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Very distressing. Well, there's no need to worry on my account. I mean, I'm not likely to climb out of the classroom window. I know you aren't. Oh, thank you for your confidence. It has nothing to do with confidence. We've had the window frames nailed down. <laughs> Oh, very thoughtful. Well, I really would appreciate the job, Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Miss Courtney. I am qualified, and I rather do need a job, what with the economic situation and inflation. All right, there's no need to whimper. You can start immediately. Thank you. On a month's trial. Thank you. If you last that long. I'll do my best. Uh, where will I find my students? Class five, down the corridor and turn left. Right. I'm looking forward to meeting them. I'm sure we're all going to get along extremely well. <laughs> Good evening. 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 Good you are committing a mistake. <laughs> a mistake? Yes, please. You are not brown. We are brown. You are white. Uh, my name is Brown. I am your teacher. Ah, you yes. professor. Yes. I must be your student. What, please? Silencio! <laughs> Thank you. Right, uh, would you all like to sit down? Sit down. I ah, so hard. <laughs> right, I'll just uh, take a note of all your names, nationalities, and occupations. Right? Por favor, señor. Yes? Es la primera vez que vengo. 
Es esta la clase para aprender inglés. Well, I haven't the faintest idea what you're saying, but I'm sure you're not trying to find the needlework, Clark. Por favor. It doesn't matter. Have a seat. Por favor. Sit down. Ah, sí. <laughs> No, not there. Por favor. There. Ah, yeah. Right, I'll just go around the class and uh, take your names. Yes? Ah, oh, yes. What is your name? Maximilian Andrea Archimedes Papandriani. Uh, I think I'll just put you down as Max. Uh, take it, you're Greek? He is right, from Athens. Good. And what is your job? Uh, I walk with sheep. <laughs> you walk with sheep. <laughs> You're a shepherd, you work on a farm. Uh, no, no, not farm. But you just said you work with sheep. No, 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 no. Sheeps. Big sheeps. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. Sheeps. Yes, sheeps. Tonkers. <laughs> Tonkers. Tonkers. Right. Uh, I walk in office. Thank you. And your name? Anna Schmidt, German au pair. Ah. Usual German efficiency? Germans are always efficient. Not her. Uh, so. <laughs> Japanese, much more efficient. -o. Nine Germans are the best. Japanese make a much better television. And do? Camelos. <laughs> no, no, please, let us have no racialism. In this class, all are equal. Your name? Giovanni Cupello. Italian. Hmm? Where do you work? I work in Ristorante dei Popoli. A waiter? No, not a waiter. A cucuta. <laughs> See, a cucuta ravioli, a cucuta spaghetti, a cucuta lasagna, a cucuta everything. A chef. Okay. And your name? Andy? What is your name? Jagger. Uh, me, Jeremy Brown. You. But Andy Jagger. Max, Anna Schmidt, Giovanni Cupello. You. Oh, I'm not sure. 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 Yes, yes, write your name down. Good, good. No good. I need your name in English. No Urdu? No Urdu. Hai, to main yahan kahe ke liye angrezi aati hu to main sikhne aati angrezi koi. Aapko kya chahiye? Ab mujhe pata nahi kahan se laun main pata nahi kya chahiye aapko. Dekho ji, sahi likha hua hoga angrezi to pata nahi dekhi. Ye to nahi kahin kagaz jo aapko chahiye. Aha, certificate of registration. Jamila Ranja housewife. Thank you. Good. And your name? I am Ali Nadim from Lahore. I'm working at the moment, not anywhere at all. You're unemployed? Yes, please. <laughs> Only one day a week I'm working. Uh, what do you do then? I'm going to the unemployment exchange <laughs> for to be collecting my money. Who oh, blimey? me? I get more money for not being working than when I'm working. Yes, but before you discovered this secret of eternal wealth, what did you do? Blimey, I worked <laughs> at the Taj Mahal. In Delhi? Oh, no, Patani. Taj Mahal Tandiri restaurant. Jali good chapati and papadam. A thousand apologies for my lateness. The omnibus was going backwards. <laughs> I'm sure there must be a more logical explanation. It is the absolute truth. I was told to be taking a number 27 omnibus, and I complied. 
but it went in a backward direction. <laughs> no, I think you meant it was going the other way. That is the gist of what I'm saying. A thousand apologies. Sorry. Uh, perhaps you'd like to sit next to Ali, your countryman. I cannot sit there. It's impossible. Why is it impossible? I'm sick. Oh, dear. <laughs> It's not contagious. Perhaps you ought to come back when you're better. I do not comprehend the gist of your conversation. Well, you said you were sick. No, 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 no. I am not referring to my physical state of mind. How do you feel about Roman Catholics? Oh, I treat them like my brothers. Good. Well, you can go and sit next to Giovanni. Stop it! Into the gentleman, please! You are here to learn English, not start a holy war. And what is your name? Ranjit Singh. And you're from which country? Punjab. And what is your job? I am a very important member of the British underground. Underground what? <laughs> Just the underground. Mind the door! <laughs> that underground. And your name? Harold Nagasumi. <laughs> My name is Cardo, ah. Japanese, representative of Bushida Electronics. Very good, very good. <laughs> and finally, your name. Por favor. Your name. <laughs> what is your name? Por favor. Nome. Ah, nombre, sí. Juan Cervantes para servirle, señor. No need to ask what nationality you are. Por favor. <laughs> Spanish. Por favor. What is your job? Por favor. <laughs> Trabajo. Ah, trabajo, sí. Tree lager. Tree lager? But you like trees? <laughs> One gin tonic, two whiskey coca, tree lager. Tree lager? Sí. Ah, you work in a bar? Sí, sí, bar, bar. Oh. Well, Mr. Brown? Yes, thank you. Apart from one attempted murder and a possible race riot, uh, I seem to be coping reasonably well. Well, what I really came to inform you about was the registration fees for the students. Ah. Now, it's five pounds per head, and I should be grateful if you would collect the money and bring it to my office in your tea break. Right, I'll do that. Well, we have one thing to be grateful for, anyway. Sex won't be rearing its ugly little head. <laughs> Beg your pardon? Well, in my experience, it isn't race or religion that causes the problems. It's usually the presence of some foreign beauty. <clears throat> Jealousies, intrigues, all that sort of thing. Yes, well, looking at my class, I don't think we'd be too bothered with anything like that. I come to learn English. Have I come to the right place? <laughs> Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Miss. I just brought the registration fees for the students. Ah, good. Now, how many students have you? Nine. So there should be forty-five pounds in there. Yeah, well, that all depends upon the rate of exchange. I don't quite follow you. Not all of them had uh, five pounds in English money, so I collected twenty-nine pounds fifty in sterling, and the rest is made up of two thousand yen, three thousand lira, <laughs> two hundred and fifty pesetas, seventy-five drachma, fifty francs, and twelve Deutschmarks. <laughs> According to this morning's financial papers, that should give us a profit of one pound forty-two and a half p. Then I suggest you take it to the bank in the morning and convert it to English currency. Right, I'll do that. Oh, by the way, how's the femme fatale? Ah, yes, Danielle. Well, at the moment she's in the tea room with Italy, Spain and Greece trying to establish diplomatic relations. <laughs> well, I hope she's not going to cause any bother. Oh, no, I'm sure she won't. Look, I'm not going to sit here. No, it's me who is going to be sitting here. And before you were sit over there. And before you were sit over there. You take it, Amik. Who, me? You go back, sit where you were before. No, I sit here. You not sit here. Ha! Who's going to be stopping me? Me. <laughs> Yourself. You think you're tough? Come out the side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where are you going? We go outside to have a punch down. You mean a punch down? <laughs> I'm going to where, uh, how you say, yeah, look his bloody block off. <laughs> we see who's a bloody blocker is an offered off. <laughs> oh, just a minute. What is all this about? I tell you, Mr. White. Brown. Oh, excuse me. 
<laughs> it's about where we sit. Well, what's wrong with where you were sitting before? It's my eyes, professori. I've got to sit near the front. Here. <laughs> oh, I see, and I suppose it's got nothing to do with the fact that Danielle is sitting here too? She is? <laughs> I never noticed! You see, so my eyes, I'm a little short-sighted. And also a much bigger liar. It's not true, Mr. Green. The name is Brown. You see, I'm a colorblind as well. <laughs> and Max, I suppose you've got trouble with your eyes as well, have you? Oh, no, no, no. My eyes are okay. Uh, it's my ears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not hearing very well. That's a likely story. What you say? <laughs> I say you both go back and sit where you were sitting before. Now. Santa yeah, Maria. Yeah. I hope you don't think I was, uh, how you say, too forward? No, no, I'm sure you weren't in any way to blame at all. Teacher, please. Yes. Ah. Mr. Blount? Yes? Please forgive my rateness. I apologize, but I lost my way. Not to worry. Uh, what is your name? Chung Suli. Suli? And where are you from? Democratic Republic of China. <laughs> and what is your job? Secretary. Chinese diplomat. Very nice. <laughs> right, where shall we put you? Uh, Taro, how are relations between Japan and China? Depends on a political viewpoint. Japan, light wingo. China, right wingo. I see. Are you right wingo or left wingo? Right wingo. I follow teaching of Chairman Mao. Ah, well, in that case, you better sit next to Jamila, the Indian lady. All right? Thank you. Right. Now we will start by learning a few basic English verbs. And firstly, we will take the verb to be. I am English. You are Chinese, he is Italian, she is French, he is barbarian. <laughs> you are asking for a kick up your big brown backside. Now look, <laughs> pay attention, please. I am. I am. You are. You are. He, she, or it oh, is. He, she, she or it is. Or or is. Or is. We are. We are. You are. You are. are. They are. They are. They are. I shall now go round the class and ask you each to give me a sentence using the verb to be. To be. To be. Taro. I am. Ah, so. <laughs> I am very happy to be. Learning go in go leash. <laughs> Very good. Good. Giovanni. He is. He is a da fool. <laughs> good. But not is a da. He is a fool. Yes, he is a fool. <laughs> Max. Uh, she is. <laughs> she is beautiful. She is uh, wonderful. <laughs> she is... Yes, yes, thank you, Max. <laughs> Juan, it is. Por favor. <laughs> it is. Por favor. <laughs> it is raining. Lloviendo. It is raining. Ah, no, you have for the moment. Por favor. Uh, doesn't matter. Sit down. <laughs> Suli, it is. It is duty of every citizen to overthrow imperial government. So say Chairman Mao. <laughs> yes, well, that's his opinion. <laughs> Good. Danielle, we are. Mm -hmm. uh, we are 
lucky to have such great oh. <laughs> <laughs> But please. Any truth? I mean, uh, <laughs> Ali? <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are. You are waiting for me to speak an answer. <laughs> well done. And unfortunately, I'm not understanding the question. <laughs> I want you to give me a sentence using you are. I am. No, not I am. You are. For example, you are from Pakistan. I am from Pakistan. Good, yes, but now use you are. But I cannot say you are from Pakistan because you are not, are you? <laughs> Repeat after me. You are English. No, no, I am from Pakistan. What am I? You are confusing me. You are. You mean poof! <laughs> Don't you call me poof? Poof! I've been Sit down! Sit down, please! Right! And there's really not much more we can do. Can you all get the textbooks I was telling you about? What I would like you to do is some homework, all right? I want you to write me an essay. A short story about your life here in England. Things you do, the things you like. And I'll see you all on Wednesday. Ah, oh, Mrs. Courtney. Miss. Miss. Well, I've just dismissed the class for the night. I think we've just about covered all there is to for the first session. You look a trifle under the weather. Job getting you down already. Well, no, no, I'm fine. Never felt better. There's just one thing, though. Yes? That window you nailed down, the one Mr. Warburton climbed out of. What about it? I think we ought to put a few more nails in, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.